Hello and welcome to this year's 2011 version of the LTC Signing and Interpreting for the Deaf DVD. Some of you have seen this lots and lots of times. I, I encourage you though, I'm going to keep this introduction short and I appreciate it if you just kind of go through it with me. Um, there may be some information in there that you don't know, maybe some information that you don't remember. So I'd like for you to stick with me just for a few minutes here as I introduce what we're going to be doing here on this DVD. I have chosen three songs, okay? The three songs are He Still Came, which is kind of, I'm learning is a new song for a, a number of people. Um, it's a beautiful song. Basically says, you know, disregarding every cost from the manger to the cross, He Still Came just for me. He Still Came. Uh, the second one, Because He Lives, uh, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. And uh, one that we probably all do know is uh, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. The scripture I've chosen for this year is uh, in keeping with the theme, and that is Coming Soon, all right, and it's Acts 1. 1 through 11. So Acts 1, 1, 1, 1. Alright? And uh, that's the scene where Jesus has come, has appeared to his disciples, or actually to his apostles, and then is whisked off in the air. And the angel says, what are you guys looking up there for? He's coming back the same way he left. So those are those, those are the things that we're going to be studying along this tape. Tape, boy, that goes back a few years. Uh, I want to tell you now a little bit about what the judges are looking for. Now the judges have not, probably have not, seen this DVD. As a result, this DVD is not a golden standard by which all kids are going to be uh, judged by. This DVD is intended strictly for those that there's nobody at the church that has uh, signing capabilities or the person that they have there is uh, a little rusty and wants to have some information uh, this DVD is used sometimes by teachers and never shown to the kids and that's fine too but the, the point here that I'm trying to make is that regardless of how this DVD is used one of the ways it's not used is it is not used as a golden standard by which all of the kids are going to be uh, judged by. So, if you do C signs, that's fine. If you do ASL, that's fine. If you do something in the middle, that's fine. Your signs are right. Unless you don't know any signs, in which case my signs are right. See what I'm trying to say there? there there's, no, there's no need for you to match what I'm doing. Uh, I will tell you, though, that if you're doing ASL, uh, it has been my experience in the past that if you're going to do pure ASL, you need to do pure ASL right. Uh, the judges seem to be very picky when it comes to uh, if you're going to choose to do ASL, to do it correctly. That would be my only word of caution there. Um, what the judges will be looking for, though, what I'll be telling them to look for, though, is clear signs. If the signs are all mushy, and they're all right here at the front, and they don't really communicate well, then, then you're not communicating. The point here is communication. Um, I haven't met a deaf person yet, regardless of how ASL they are, that can't read what we call pigeon. Okay? Communication is the important part here. Now, when I do this, the, the DVD here, I am not going to be doing ASL. Uh, ASL is too difficult to do on a DVD. Okay? Especially when there's no help behind it. So, I will probably be doing something in the middle between those two places. Uh, expression. I've asked my judges to 
look and comment specifically about expression. If you say, he still came, he still came, just for me, he still came, that's not the way the song is done. He still came, just for me, he still came. Okay? Be expressive. Let your face show what it is that you're trying to, to express. Confidence. This hasn't really been a problem, and I suspect it won't be a problem in the future. But we're, the judges are going to be looking for the, the participant to come in and know their stuff. If they come in and they're, and they're a little bit frightened, and it's clear that they haven't practiced very well, that's going to come through. Confidence. Teach them confidence. Special circumstances will be taken into consideration. I know that there are some of you out there, some of the kids, that are scared to death to do this in front of a large group. If that's the case, let me know. We might be able to put together a smaller group just for you. Um, the point here is to develop confidence and to develop the skill of signing and to plant the seeds so that if a person, if one of the kids, if you're one of the kids, you, uh, if you want to test your skills at signs, uh, this is the place to do so. Um, if there are special needs, we have over the past, let's say I've been doing this for 12 years, 13 years, something like that, there have been numerous numerous times where the uh, participant had special needs, either a physical challenge or a mental challenge. Uh, those are not reasons for not doing this. Okay? If you have a participant that wants to sign and they have the ability to express themselves with their hands at all, then they are eligible for this and they will be judged according to what they are capable of accomplishing. Okay? So, that's all for this year. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. Uh, I LTC is my favorite time of the year. Look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give me a call, send me an email. I think all my information is on the website, and I encourage you to go there because uh, you'll be able to download the songs and a whole bunch of stuff is, is available to you there. And our website looks brand new this year. You'll really like it. All right. See you there at LTC.